My name is Chris. I served in the Air Force for 13 years before becoming a full-time student at Syracuse University. It was definitely an adjustment. Uh, the biggest thing is when you're in the military for so long, you're used to having a duty day, something scheduled. You put your uniform on, you know it's time to work. From the moment you put your uniform on to you get home, you take it off. Whereas when you come here to school, uh, you may have days where you start classes at 9 o'clock in the morning, you may have days where you start classes at noon, or you might not have a class all day or not until the evening. So that strange type of schedule took a lot of getting used to. Um, it also involves a lot of self-motivation. Um, it's your grade. There's not, there's not a shop relying on you to do your job. There's not uh, higher headquarters pressuring you to give them progress reports. It's all, all on your shoulders to take care of, of what you need to take care of to pass your courses. That was an adjustment. I felt old. <laughs> I do remember the first couple of weeks. Um, I was in classes where I was literally twice the age of some of the students in there. Um, at the same time, I felt unusually comfortable. I found that a lot of the professors would treat us somewhat differently from the regular students um, simply because we were at a closer age group and a closer experience. Um, we weren't necessarily looking to them as mentors or as, a, as an individual that was above our level. It was more like they were teaching us something, but we were almost equals. We were just kind of learning. Um, so you definitely feel a little bit different when you're in a class. And, and I, I remember that feeling. And I remember looking around to some of the other classmates that were a little bit younger to me uh, and, and seeing a slightly different look in the way they regarded their teacher as the way I, I felt towards my teacher.